Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to EcoQuest. All right, we uh, we have spoken with the Oracle, and uh, she wants us to go get a what was it? The sign of favor, or something like that, from uh, everyone, which basically means that we're going to have to go do little things for each of them and bribe them with good deeds in order to get them on our side. Can't I just give them money? Works in Crusader Kings too. Oh, hey, Delphinius. You Oracle, huh? What'd she say, Adam? What'd she say? She said I'm a filthy human and I should go die. She says I should find a sign of trust from the citizens. What could she mean, Del? Hmm. A sign of trust, eh? Beats me. Maybe you should talk to the city's mayor and the guardian of the Greens. If you can find them, that is. I've seen hardly anyone since I've been back. I feel like they're discriminating against me because of my chosen friendship with a, with a filthy human. It is kind of creepy. Where do you think I should look for the mayor and the guardian of the greens? Somewhere indoors. I'll meet you back at the fish apartments later. Come by if you can't find who you're looking for. Wait, y you mean you're not going to come with me? I got to go do all this alone? Dick move, Delphinius. Oh yeah, just go swim off and be alone with yourself and your your fishy friends or something like that. <sighs> Stupid dolphins. I hope you get eaten Paul, in tuna. Who dares enter the chambers of the great senator? I'm the great human, and I'm gonna murder you. I mean, um Hello. The booming voice seems to come from nowhere. Well it clearly seems to come from this room somewhere. A mural of Greek senators highlights the back wall of the council chambers. Wait, what? Greek senators? Senators are Roman. The council leader's face is covered by an elaborate gold mask. It looks out of place on the painted mural. It also looks like you have an extra space there. An elaborate gold mask has been placed over the seated senator's face. Six beautiful columns line the council chambers. Arsaia, who dares enter the chambers of the great senator? Excuse me, I'm looking around at the room before I'm going to talk to you, jerk. Six be- The council chamber's floor is decorated with a large inlaid star. I, I was actually trying to look at this, uh, this purple thing. All right, fine. Though seeing no one in the room, Adam tentatively calls out. Show yourself, you Phoebe. Who? Who are you? I am me, which is to say, <clears throat> the great senator. Tremble before me. Mm, no. Oh, well, okay. I'm Adam. Delphine has brought me here to help. Adam? I know of no Allurians named Adam. He you're human, a son of man. Here, where is that blasted blubber farm of a whale? Why are you so racist? What whale? You mean Cetus? Of course, Cetus. But I didn't say blasted blubber farm of a whale. Yes, I, yes, you did. I never said that. I have it on tape. Benevolent, impressively large whale is what I actually said. I, I'm, I'm calling the news media right now. They're, they're gonna love this. Great Cetus maketh the food plentiful in the city pure. He banisheth the sharks and conger alike. He maketh the water clear and filtereth the yucky stuff. What the hell is a conger? Oh, and he maketh us cleanseth behind our gills. Yeah, I'll cleanse behind your gills with a, with a paring knife. But Cetus is missing. Actually, would that be a paring knife that you use to descale fish? I don't know. I don't, I'm not a fisher. Fisherman. I know that. Alas, poor Luria. I knew him, Cetus Horatio. Vanished. For lo, many days, Cetus is gone. Only Poseidon knows where he has hithered to. Well, why don't you ask Poseidon, then? Oh, well, that's because Posi Poseidon is a jerk. But fear not, for the great senator will personally see to it that Illyria, great kingdom, survives. Uh-huh, really. Um, why do I get the feeling that you're just in here hiding? How will you replace Cetus, great senator? Things look a mess to me. Maybe I could help. Or maybe you should get out there and clean up the garbage that's out there. 
Help you? Yes, me. The great senator needs no help. The great senator has not acted because he is still pondering the situation. If you're so smart, try solving the challenge of the columns. Hmm. So you're, you're making me do a puzzle that, that you're too dumb to do. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, also, I just want to point out that uh, I'm, I'm human, therefore I am the best at everything ever. This is uh, just the way everything written by humans ever works. What challenge of the columns? Find the one that turns no other, make it match its right-hand brother, repeat until all nine are done, and the council's favor you will have won. That seems silly. And now I will answer no more questions, human boy. The great senator will now stay silent and silently ponder. Now silently ponder you into a, into a boiling pot of water. That's what I'll do. Whoa, the column pieces move. Now I wonder what order I should put them in. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the... Uh... The order that's uh, on the right-hand side of the, the the room? Just saying. Alright, so you gotta find one that doesn't move everything the else. There we go. The piece locks into place. It now matches the corresponding column piece on the right side of the council chambers. You don't actually have to make sure that they match. It'll do it on its own. It's kind of easy. The column piece locks into place. That piece is the column piece lock. So you basically just uh, find the one that the column piece locks into place. Doesn't move any others. The column piece. The column piece lock. There's nothing there. The column piece lock. The column piece lock. The last column piece shifts into place. Adam feels the water tremble. The room shakes as the building settles down on the columns. What? The gold mask is knocked from the wall. Oh, the I see how it is. Stumbles from the fallen mask. Boo hoo! Oh, boo hoo! I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roast you up, you know. No, wait, boil. You don't roast cr crab. I can't handle it. I'm gonna turn I you into crab can't. cakes. I tried, but no one will listen to me. No one cares. Oh, boo, boo, hoo. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you saying something? I was too busy thinking about uh, uh, peeing in the water here. If Adam wants to talk to someone, he can talk to the hermit crab. Well, what if he doesn't want to? Who are you? You seem dumb. I'm the great sin. Oh, I mean, oh, I'm a nobody. Boo-hoo, I'm a failure. Boo-hoo-dee-hoo. Boo-hoo-dee-hoo. Oh, my God, you're terrible. Stop fake crying. I'm, you're not going to get any sympathy out of me. Also, yes, you are definitely a failure. Well, why are you hiding in the mask? My name is Superfluous. I've always been the mayor, but I never actually had to do anything. Cetus took care of it all, you see. Now he's gone, and I ought to do something, but I don't know what. Well, yeah, you do seem to be superfluous. superfluous. Well, gosh, you need to call a meeting or something. Get everyone to help. God, do I have to do your job for you? Oh, they won't listen. Why do you think I pretended to be the great senator? They might have respected him, but no, they're all huddled in their homes, scared. They won't come out for a meeting. Well, then tell them that if they don't, they'll lose their citizenship and they'll be deported. Not that I can blame them. Here I sit with a shell so tight I'm about to burst, and I'm too scared to go out and find a new one. <laughs> God, you're terrible. Man, how did the city function? Well, maybe I can get the citizens to come out. Why should they listen to you, a human boy? Why, I don't even trust you. No, sorry. I don't think it would work. It would be nice if it could, though. Man, you're just a little Debbie Downer, aren't you? Goodbye now. I must go back to my pondering. 
Yeah, I'm gonna ponder up a uh, drawn butter if you're not careful, buddy. Yeah, but I want the gold. My gold. Mine. Adam doesn't want to disturb Superfluous. Yes, he man. does. He might ask Superfluous to come out, though. No, no. Fine. God. Terrible. All right. Well, let's uh, head over here. Hmm. Well, it uh, looks like uh, quite a mess around here. Let's take a look around. What do we have? There's a broken, empty pot littering the royal gardens. Some lady must be looking really hard for her purse, because there's one just lying there. A beat-up, bent-up bicycle wheel lies alone on the garden's floor. A small sheet of metal lies on the garden grass. That spray bottle is clearly of no use under the sea. Uh, I'm sure you could find some use for it. The cobblestones were once a walkway through the ancient Greek garden. The cobblestone... That looks like a piece of wood. There's an old fishing line on the ground. It looks like what the one that got away got away with. Really? Is that fishing line or is that the actual fishing rod? An old tire has sunk to the bottom of the sea. Why a land vehicle's tire is in the ocean, Adam will never know. Uh, actually, Adam, that's because uh, uh, old used tires tend to be retread and, uh, retreaded and then uh, shipped off to uh, uh, other poorer countries from richer countries so that they can be reused. I'm surprised you don't know that. The royal gardens were once full of splendor, but the plants here have fallen prey to dioxin and other poisons in the water. Even the little bits of life that still remain are pale and sickly. Yeah, it reminds me of my sister. An old vegetable can has been ditched. Hmm, broccoli. And broccoli is only good if it has, like, butter or cheese or something on it. An entire six-pack of soda has found its way to the bottom of the sea. Too bad fish don't like carbonated drinks. Well, I do. Can I have it? And my mouse has just decided to die on me. Oh, God. I don't know what the hell is going on with my USB stuff right now. Other than the fact that it is extremely, extremely dry... And, uh, tends to make everything, uh, just not play nice. Come on, mouse. Oh, God. Seriously? The things I have to deal with. I had to do this on uh, stream last night, too. There we go. All right. Much better. The royal gardens were once full of splendor, but the... I thought that was going to be a tire there. A large statue of a whale made entirely from coral takes a place of honor in the middle of the garden. The coral is coated with oil and is clearly dying. This kind of damage is the result of oil spills and ship bilge dumping. The lighter part of the oil evaporates, and what's left sinks, ending up as a thick tar that coats the ocean floor. Yeah, but it's the ocean floor. Who cares about that? I mean, it's just, you know, like fish and coral and necessary things to life down there. Psh, whatever. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and start cleaning up. Um, you know, we could totally reuse the uh, uh, six-pack of soda if it's uh This full. looks like a red angelfish to Adam. To the red angelfish, Adam probably looks like the most ugly fish he's ever seen. Oh, well, that's just rude. Adam wheels the rubber to a permanent parking spot. Adam reels in the old fishing line. Actually, did I look at this, whatever it was? There's an old brown shoe on the ground. It looks like the nerd variety of polyester plastic shoe. The hell does that even mean? Also, can I take the uh, bottle? Why would Adam need a spray bottle when he's surrounded by water? He should clean it up, though. It might come in handy. Spray bottles are always handy. Adam carefully picks up the brown shoe and does the world a favor by throwing it away. With great relief, Adam cans the can of broccoli. Well, was it a full can of broccoli? Adam slams the soda down, his garbage bag. See, now that's just a waste. 
The cobblestones add a bit of beauty to this poor, dying garden. Adam doesn't want to disturb them. The cobblestones add... That's not a cobblestone. Adam puts the spritz on the spray bottle. Ooh, there's a new fish. The royal gardens were once... Nope. This curious fish looks a little like a wrasse, but he doesn't look like he's wrassling right now. Hmm... Adam slowly slips the sheet into the sack. And it rips because it was very sharp on the edges. That's why he has these uh, gloves. Adam rides the wheel into the trash. Maybe you shouldn't ride the wheel into the trash. Adam the snatches the purse and bags it. Oh, you're going to get in trouble for that. I hope you check to see if there was any money in it first. The plants are sick and dying, but should be allowed to remain where they are. No, I was trying to uh, recycle what? a fish. And throw out a perfectly good fish? Yes! Adam no likes decides to be anyway. nice and clean up the old pot. Good job. Adam may not be able to reverse all of the damage to the plants in the Royal Gardens, but at least he's removed all of the visible litter. Excellent. Got some points for that. And we do have a little thing that we can use on oil. Don't worry, Coral. This is fertilizer solution from my dad's lab. I'm not sure if it will help you, but without it, you'll die for sure. Adam carefully pours the fertilizer solution over the whale-shaped coral. He puts the empty flask into his garbage bag. How did I pour that when it was an open-topped flask? And also... That could totally be uh, recycled or reused. Either one. The Adam is not very good at dissolve. this thing. It's working. He's really not very good at this whole, uh, uh, you know, reduce, recycle, reuse thing. What are you doing to my coral, child? I am murdering it. A little lobster stands in front of the whale, and she doesn't look happy. Did you not just see me clean up all the goddamn garbage that was out here that you should have been taking care of? Also, how is that whale all made out of coral? The lobster wouldn't like being handled. She has her dignity, you know. Well, she might like being, uh, boiled. I asked, what have you done to my coral? I was getting to that lady... I just put some solution on the coral that will create bacteria to eat up the oil. I only meant to help. I felt so sorry for the poor coral. A human? Feeling sympathy for the creatures of the sea? God, you're racist, lady. Why, you're right. The oil is dissolving. What is your name then, magic one? My name is you shouldn't be... Racist towards humans. You you can call me Mr. Human, though. My name is Adam, but it's not magic. Just science. No, no. Who are you? No, Adam, you, you did that wrong. It's it's not... But it's not just... But it's not magic. Just science! You, you, you gotta get the... Uh, gotta get that right there, Adam. I am the guardian of the greens. It's but not very green out here. But you can call me Demeter. It is my job to tend the royal gardens and ensure that the city has plenty of plants to eat. But as you can see, my garden is all but dead. Uh, y you know this grass here that can't actually grow? Also, um, uh, most of the uh, so-called plants... I mean, there are a lot of plants under the, the ocean, but a lot of it is not actually plants. It's algae. What will you do when the plants are gone? Oh, I'll probably just move on to someplace else. I, I have a sister over in the Keys. We will be forced to leave Luria. Or die here. I'm not sure which is a worse fate. After all, everything outside of Luria is just a shithole. If only Cetus were here. The coral miss him so. You know they shape themselves like this in homage to him. Wow. If only I knew Cetus was somewhere safe. I could be content with this lot. Well, I came here with Dolphinius. We're going to try to help save the city. And maybe find Cetus. But probably not. I'll probably just eat everyone here. 
You would do that, human child? Perhaps that's just what we need. Someone who knows the mysteries of man and the poisons he puts in the sea. Here, take this with you. Uh, what, what is it? I don't trust you. What is this? It is the last of my healing potion. It has a great power to heal. I used to make it from over 30 rare sea plants, but most of them are extinct now, killed off by poisons. There'll be no more potion. Oops. The potion does not work on my poor garden. Perhaps you will find a good use for it on your quest to save the city. All right, well, I, I will grant you that uh, uh, humans are kind of shitty. Thank you for this gift, Demeter. Use it wisely, human child. And may Poseidon watch over you. Yeah, but Poseidon's kind of a jerk. Hasn't he uh, caused earthquakes around here and killed many, many people just because he could? And so Adam's we have... carrying the healing potion that Demeter, the guardian of the greens, gave him. Demeter? According to Demeter, this is the last dose of a miraculous potion that was made of now extinct sea plants. Hmm. Well, maybe we should take this back to our dad so he can do an analysis on the, uh, um... Uh, on it so that, you know, maybe we could, I don't know, uh, duplicate it somehow. And what the heck just came down here? Let's see. A glop of tar has fallen from the coral. Something white is sticking out of the tar. What, really? All right, well, let's take, pick it up. Adam picks the shell up from the tar. Ick! It's a nice roomy shell, but it won't be much use covered with tar like that. Well, it would probably be helpful if we had something to uh, uh, clean that off with, but uh, Adam was dumb and left uh, the cloth that he uh, used on the seagull back home. Goddamn seagulls. Adam's carrying a nice roomy shell. The shell is covered with oil and tar. Yuck! Adam can't clean off the oil and tar with his hands. Yeah, you can if you work at it. All right, well, uh, we have a uh, oil and tar covered shell. Um, I'm sure that will uh, come in handy at some point never. See you next time, everyone.